And here we are again and on the spotlight we have DeWalt today. Come back to DeWalt after a few Makita videos in a row. So there's no need to be concerned or call anybody to intervene. So what I have is two of my favourites, DCF 887s. They're my favourites because I like this little impact driver. And these are my favourites because they're they've done a lot of work and they're beat up all to hell. Some people rescue dogs, I rescue dolls. But anyway, that's another story. Like I say, these are very, very heavily used. And this video, I'll do an explanation of what the hard work has done to these two little beauties. Firstly, we'll do a visual inspection. We'll take a look at date code, date of manufacture code. That says, you can't see it there, but that says, 2017 and that one says 2019 so that's the date of manufacture potentially this one could be potentially five years old and this could be potentially three years old secondly I'll explore what's wrong just by looking at them. You can say beat up all to hell. Start off with this one. Beat up all to hell. The usual. Wobbling, wobbling, wobbling. A bit of wobble in that one too, but not as bad. So this one's got two two years more wobble in that. We'll call that wobble wear. So we'll give that a technical term called WW wobble wear. Looks like you check. That's why I stuck these on. This is still going. And it is. They call it. It retains the butthole or driver. And is remarkably still intact after all the work these have done. To explain this routine and call it, there's a little spring that holds a ball in place. And that can get broken through excessive wear or rough use. And it's a very, very common issue. There is a video on my channel showing how to repair this if it happens, but it's an older video and less sophisticated than even my more recent attempts. Anyway, like I say, the call is good. Um, I'll have to check now visually. Start with the version 17 one. Switch is stuff, but it's it's okay. That's very stuff. That's a newer one. But there could be worse things wrong than that. Third battery time. Battery time. The battery and the seat. Look. Wobbling like Marlon Monroe in an earthquake. Huh? And two to three LEDs is away in this one. The anvil's hanging out of that one. The anvil's, the anvil's worn. The butt on here causes the impact. That's worn. Hopefully, I'll get to do a video on that soon. I'll be able to show you how to change it. I've done one before, but never, I've never filmed one. I'll take a look at the 2019 see how it fared. See that? Right. See the intermittent power? We'll get to that in a minute. Um, 
again, one of the LEDs is away in this one. The wobble wear, the wobble wear isn't as bad. That's not bad. They do, there does be a wee bit of slap on them when they're new anyway. But that, that has worn, but it's not as bad. But there you go. That's a real issue. Power. Losing, a, losing power when it's, it's in full. That would be so annoying during the day if that was happening. That would drive you mad. That usually means you need to replace the whole motor and brush. A brushless motor, actually. A brushless motor switch assembly. Which is usually not worth doing financially. Um... I listen to see how she's wearing on that. She's about better. But I think the best thing you can do to try and remedy that relatively cheaply is to strip them both down and uh, clean them out with contact cleaner. See if that works. So I might revisit these. And tell you how you get on with them. So if you like this video, please subscribe and take a look at my channel for more of my content. Thank you.